tired of spending a lot of damn money on these packs and not getting anything you wanted? Head on over to MrMuttCoin.com for the best, cheapest, fastest reliable service. Make sure you use code GS for 10% off your purchase. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Just Welcome back to another Madden 19 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. If you guys missed the stream earlier, when we went ahead and uh, just sold uh, 88 Jonathan Ogden, we went ahead and streamed some legend packs, and uh, we did all right. You know, we pulled the full legend. We pulled some uh, some decent value worth of cards to, uh, you know, give us some extra coinage, and we use that said coinage to go on ahead and pick up some new players, one of them being, M I was going to say Mutt Master, he's not Mutt Master, <laughs> one of them being Mutt Monster, Calvin Johnson, the master for the uh, promo so far, I believe they are going to have a second set, word on the street is that there is a uh, master, Patrick Willis, that might be available, I'm not sure, but I hope so. But uh, we picked up this Calvin. He looks astronomically uh, biblical. 94 spec catch, 88 short, 88 medium, 93 deep route running, 92 catching traffic, 90 catching, 95 jumping with 91 speed. I decided to go with zone run instead of go deep because my go deep isn't maxed out. And instead of adding one or two more spec catch on him, which is already high as it is, being 94, uh, we figure we're going to go on ahead uh, you know, run block isn't, you know, it's good. It's definitely good, but it's not, like, overwhelmingly uh, beastly. Uh, but, uh, you know, why not add to his spin move and juke move? You know, he now has a spin move of 89. He now has a juke move of 91. So, uh, I feel like that's going to help him with any uh, catch after, uh, well, any moves after the catch, especially having a decent spin move. So, 89 should hopefully be able to, uh, give him some swivels, you know, and uh, be able to uh, have him, you know, either create separation, get out of a tight jam, uh, make people miss. So I feel like that right there was just better than adding uh, plus two spec catch, which is already really, really, really high. So the guy looks like an absolute monster. I'm still keeping Larry Fitzgerald. Um, you know, uh, obviously he's my run blocking goon. Uh, Randy Moss with 93 speed is an absolute monster. And OBJ with 92 speed is a goon himself. The only thing with Calvin is that you cannot add any ability to him. So you can't add Sprinter or anything like that, uh, which is kind of uh, unfortunate. And we also picked up Anthony Munyazi. And this guy, just, just look at 99 run block. 92 run block, run block power with a run block finesse. Of 99, and he's definitely a lot faster than Ogden. Ogden had 55 speed. Munoz has almost 70, so that right there should be, you know, helpful with him, uh, you know, getting out in front and, you know, hopefully not getting beat because Ogden got beat bad, and I felt like it has a lot to do with the speed. Willie Rofe got beat bad, and I feel like it has a lot to do with their speed because, you know, they're very, very, very slow, and when they have to go on ahead and seal the edge and try and deal with the Von Miller, uh, Jadavion Clowney, Lawrence Taylor, all these guys who block shed really high, have great power move, finesse move, and more importantly, have a ton of speed. I feel like that's, you know, uh, really preventing, you know, Rofe and Ogden to stay in front of those guys because they're so fast. And I looked at the speed. I was like, okay, we got to go with Anthony Munozzi. We picked him up for 710, 720, somewhere around there. And um, he has 95 run block stock. But then, uh, you know, with... The uh, zone run adding plus three, that's going to bring it up to 98. And then Madden uh, having tier two rushing adding plus one run block is going to boost that up to a 99. So that right there was, I looked at it, I was like, wait a minute, I can definitely add plus four, get him to 99 run block. And for somebody who runs the ball all day, every day, yes, let me go on ahead and hold that. Thank you. Come again. So uh, we're definitely excited about him. I know gameplay has been lacking the past few days, man, just been extremely, extremely busy. But 100% um, we're going to have gameplay coming tomorrow. I woke up really, really, really late, to, late today, unfortunately. Um, but those right there are two huge upgrades, I would like to think, offensively. Um, I would still like to get uh, Franco Harris. Um, and I would also like to get Randall McDaniel. You know, uh, Steve Hutchinson, I think it's time to go on ahead and uh, upgrade this young man. And uh, get away from my man Hutchinson, which uh, hopefully... We can uh, be able to do that uh, very soon. You can take a look. His pass block really isn't the best. And 
Randall McDaniel goes for like 700, 800K. That's one a uh, few good things of when you go on ahead and you get yourself a limited card. Is one, you know they're going to hold their value, right? Because of the 500K quick sell minimum. So they're always going to hold their value um, at least that amount no matter what. But, um, you know, you don't have to power them up. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of training to get their ability. You know, with like... Um, Calvin, I was just able to put Playmaker on him immediately and not have to worry about, you know, powering him up with training from scratch all the way, needing a few other pieces and all that other stuff. That's the frustrating thing when you just want to add Playmaker on a player or you just want to add, you know, Identify on a player. You know, you need to go on ahead and power them up. With a limited card, you don't. You know, uh, you don't get the plus one of everything, uh, but it's very expensive adding the plus one of everything because you need a whole lot of training to do it. <laughs> but, um... We definitely, like right here, he's just one up for a million. And I see him for like 700, 800K. He's definitely expensive, but uh, pass blocking, he's definitely better. Run blocking, he's slightly better. Um, you know, so we'll be able to give him plus four run block. So we'll actually get that up to 96 run block. Uh, but his pass block, again, is better. We'll add secure pass protector on him. And uh, he's definitely the move. And he's got some uh, speed on him a little bit faster than Hutchinson. Outside of him, I think that's like the only offensive card I want right now. Oh, and also, uh, we're going to bring the Gunchito back. Yes, he's coming back home. He's coming back home. A uh, fan favorite will be coming home as soon as I see him less than 120K. Because I see him up for, I think, like 150. I don't know what his average price is, but I don't think it's, you know, like that much. I've seen him for as cheap as... Uh, you know, right right now he's up for 150. I seen him as cheap as the other day for like a hundred or something like that, or close to it. Let me see his average price. Hundred and ten k is his average price, and he's up for 150. So we definitely do not want to severely overspend. You know, like that. Um, we would have purchased the most expensive Brandon Marshall in. Quite a while, you know. You, you can catch him under slightly under 100k every now and then. So hopefully we do. But when we do see him for that price, we're definitely gonna snag him up um, and uh, add him to the squadron and um, add him. Uh, let me see. We want Franco Harris as well. And defensively, like we're not going Paul Kraus, and that has a lot to do with uh, us having uh, uh, Ronnie Lott. Ronald Lotterford. So we definitely don't need uh, him or anything like that. Just because we have Ronnie Lott and Cross is going for a... He's going for a lot. I definitely feel like Ronnie Lott is the way to go. You know, we have ourselves, uh, you know, more speed. Uh, even though Krause is power upable, so you'll be able to get him to a 94 overall. You'll be able to... Add one more speed to him, and you would be able to get him to 99 zone uh, if you have Coach Madden, or you're going to need the um, the uh, Vikings camp because you know you'll get 95 zone on him, and then add three from lockdown to 98, and then you'll also be able to add plus one from Coach Madden, or if you have Vikings uh, training camp uh, or team camp to add plus one zone. Uh, but his play rec, it will be 94. You know everything is you know really good about this card. But I prefer Ronnie Lott, you know, uh, more hit power. Um, but Kraus is six foot three, and his catching is usually really, really, really high. So uh, he does a great job of just getting in position and usually doing very, very, very well um, with being at in right place at the right time. Uh, but again, we're gonna stay with Ronnie Lott. And again, the Niners team is the only team in the game where you um, you can add plus six to the team, Ken, because they're the only team. Right now with two diamonds with Ronnie Lott and also Ruben Foster. So I'm able to add plus six to the Niners. And that right there helps me out, you know, with my team, Ken, adding plus one speed, plus one acceleration, you know, all that fun stuff. But, um, yeah, so we should uh, definitely tomorrow have gameplay with uh, Calvin Johnson. Definitely looking forward to that. Also, uh, you know, seeing if my man Anthony Munyazi is going to go ahead and be a monster, my Latino friend. And then uh, this Franco Harris price is uh, dropping slowly. 
I read it wrong. I thought he could get 90 run block. I was sadly mistaken. <laughs> but with um, Powered Up, he'll have 89 speed. And that's really, really, really fast. So that would allow me to put him at a tight end spot and actually utilize you know, him being able to uh, you know, run some routes because 89 speed is no joke. Um, and every once in a while, maybe sneaking a, a fullback dive, maybe, maybe, maybe sneaking a fullback dive every now and then. Uh, but uh, outside of that, I feel like my team is exactly where I want it to be. Outside of Randall McDaniel, uh, there's no other player that I see me going after. Um, and I have a handful of cards left to sell. Outside of that, once those are gone, once we get Randall McDaniel, um, I feel like we're good. I've, uh, Randall McDaniel, Brandon Marshall, um, and then that's it. Like There's nobody else as of now that I would want or feel like I need defensively. I'm very happy with uh, who it is I got. We uh, did our team token yesterday, and we were able to upgrade this monster to a 94 overall. He's now a 95 due to chemistry boost. Uh, 96 power move, 94 finesse move, um, and then once we uh, get Coach Madden uh, past defense tier 2, we're going to add another power move on him. So he's going to have 97 power move, 94 finesse move. And the, the guy is just going to be very, very goonish. <laughs> and I can't wait to uh, utilize him. Uh, very happy with our team captain here on this defensive line. I actually want to add Sprinter to him because I'm going to keep him throughout the year and I'll be able to add that uh, plus one speed to him. But um, yeah, some new offensive monsters. We'll be uh, in the new gameplay tomorrow. Appreciate the support, man. See you guys later. Peace.